If you're uploading your long form videos from the YouTube app or YouTube Studio app, then you're wrong because you have limited options. If you want to post short form videos or you want to make community posts, then you can use these apps. This is something you can do using your phone or your computer. I don't want to hear, I don't have a laptop, I don't this, I don't that. No, you don't necessarily have to use a computer. You just have to head over to www.studio.youtube.com Just search for www.studio.youtube.com And when it brings you to this page, click on continue to studio instead of the app So I'll be talking about the benefits you get from uploading your videos using the desktop site And this is how you can go about it Immediately brings you to this page, just click on the show more after uploading your video and it brings you all these things. Now speaking of altered content, just like YouTube has stated, altered content is if you make a real person appear to say or do something they didn't do or say. This is for people that post AI generated content. Let's say you're making a video right now and you have a face of a person that isn't real. You have to be able to identify or signify if the person is real or not. Also, if you're using beauty filter, if you're using AI to enhance your voice after recording your voice, as YouTube stated, you do not have to disclose this at all. Moving on, we have the automatic chapters. Instead of manually typing your chapters in your description, you can just select this, enable this feature, and you are good to go. Please note that it is not 100% flawless. So if you can still manage the a little bit of mistakes, then you're good to go. Another one is the featured places. Featured places as it is, it makes it easier for your viewers to explore the places you are making your video if you are a vlogger i think this feature really makes sense because if you're visiting a restaurant a gym a shop church anywhere it is instead of coming to your comment section to ask you where this nice place is you can just select enable this feature and your viewers will be able to explore the places you visit without any stress now this is where it gets interesting add tags if you're uploading on the youtube app you do not get to add tags you will have to upload then go back to studio hub to edit and add tags but it is not the case here you can add your tags before you upload your videos put in the right keywords and make your videos searchable and pushed to the right audience Another interesting feature is the publish to subscription feed and notify subscribers. Make sure you enable this so that anytime you post a new video, your subscribers will be notified that you have a new video for them to watch. Moving on, we have my favorite feature, which is category. Anytime you want to upload a video, you get the chance to select your type of video content whether it's entertainment education music pets and animals news how to and style and so on and so forth this way algorithm will push your videos to people that actually watch your type of content another feature we have on the desktop sites which we do not have on the youtube app is the add end screen and add card features if you want to link an old video of yours to your, pre to your current videos, you can use add end screen. I have a separate video where, where I show how to do this in a detailed way. So if you want to do something like this, you can check my previous video on how to add end screen. So moving on to the second tutorial, select settings on your desktop site and select channel. When you select the channel, it brings you here. So for the basic info, country of residence, for me, I'm picking Nigeria because this is where I am making my video from. Pick your country of residence. And for the keywords, if you are a lifestyle content creator, for example, you can put lifestyle as your keyword. Get ready with me, you know, 
how to anything that relates with all type of videos that you have put the keywords this one is not for this for a particular video this is just for your entire youtube channel now for advanced setting if your video is for kid or if it's not for kid make sure you select anyone that relates to the type of video you are posting you can also turn on automatic captions if you want that in your video moving on to feature eligibility we have standard features intermediate features and advanced features for the standard feature this is the regular youtube everybody uses but for the intermediate feature you need to have your phone number verified for you to benefit from the features like selecting your own custom thumbnail uploading a video longer than 15 minutes live streaming and for advanced feature you need a valid id or a channel history to be able to enable this feature where you have tons of benefits to enjoy so the next one is upload default here we have title and description for some og youtubers this is where they display their links to other socials they put their affiliate link they write things about their channel or who they are so anytime they want to make a new video they do not have to start all over again and be putting the affiliate links or writing what their channel is all about they just need to write what the particular video they are posting is about and these other things are already in their description and we also have the visibility section you select if you want your video to be public every time you publish it or to be private or unlisted for the advanced setting select your video language if you are a german speaking person for example selecting your video language will make it easier for algorithm to push your video to a german speaking person rather than a french or english speaking person so it makes it easier for your video to be pushed to the right audience and the last but not the least is customization make sure you have a profile picture make sure you have a banner image this is where people talk about what their channel is about for me i have my name as my banner image because my channel i have different topics and i've actually not decided what i want it to be about and make sure you have a video watermark and add links to your other socials and contact info make sure the email address you are writing here is different from the one you used in creating your channel because you know there are so many hackers out there so yeah so that will be all don't forget to like comment share and subscribe let me know what you think in the comment section and until next time have a nice day